programmer spider is back with another video so this about this video i have uh, posted on the instagram and as well as on youtube community so i get the 100% response from you audience so that's why i'm making this video in this video we are talking about uh, amnist digit classification application so basically what we are doing so we are doing uh, we are creating a one application in which we can create a digit by our hand uh, our means our finger just like uh, how we can draw in this flat just like that and when we click on the predict button it will predict the whatever digit is this so before uh, i am giving you demonstrate of uh, android tutorial first of all you need to see this video i have uploaded this video on the 16 july uh, so this video is about handwritten digit recognition this video is same but in this video i have talk about how you can create a desktop application with tikinter python but now concept is the same application motive is the same but now we are implementing this thing in the our android application so i recommend you to watch this video first then you can start this video because uh, in this video uh, in this android tutorial i am not going to cover all the python code and all the things just i will show how you can create your your tensor flow mobile uh, tensor flow light model so if you want a full uh, uh, explanation about how you can you use, uh, use amnist data set how you can clean and all the things related to the deep learning then watch this video then you can come back to this android tutorial video so let's move ahead so now this application is a combination of the python java and xml or means obviously we are using android so in your mind one question will arise how python is useful in this android application so first let's see uh, what is the scenario in this background so with java or we we can say with java or kotlin we cannot implement a machine learning so currently i am uh, talking about uh, this uh, date 31st august i don't know about the future means in future we can do this thing or not but currently we cannot do this thing with a java or a kotlin or whatever language we need to do this thing only on the python if i want to create a any deep learning model or machine learning model then obviously i need to have a python so we are creating our amnist model on the python now after creating a machine learning model on the python we need to convert our model into machine learning uh, sorry into a android and java understandable format which is called a tensor flow light so you know what is the difference between tensor flow and tensor flow light so guys i am covering this because lots of people are confused with tensor flow and tensor flow light so basically tensor flow is the official library for the machine learning and deep learning neural network related tasks but tensor flow is available only for the python but uh, tensor flow light is a uh, one kind of api or we can say package which is only available for the android application development if you want to implement machine learning on the android then you need to use a tensor flow light so tensor flow light have some different kind of format so if you are creating a python model but uh, python machine learning model but if you want to use your model in your android application then you need to convert your model into tf light format so guys we don't need to do worry about anything because tensorflow have already managed all this thing so just you need to import this tf.light.tf light converter from keras model so now you can see i am getting this error so you need to use a tensorflow latest version which is a tensorflow 2.0 so you will not get this error but guys i am using 1.14 version i don't want to upgrade my version so that's why i am getting this error but uh, i have uh, done this code on the colab and i have downloaded my model so no need to worry so first let me explain you this code guys i am not explaining you all things related to the how we can create uh, means how we can get the amnist data set how we can clean how we will implement machine learning model on the amnist for that uh, you just need to watch this video okay so i am starting from the uh, how you can convert your machine learning model into tf light converter so you need to have upgraded tensorflow package then you, you can see tf light uh, tensorflow converter from keras model now you need to give your model as a parameter the, this is your model model means where your model is stored means uh, where your learning 
or where your learning data is stored in some variable like it's it should be a model it should be like a regression or classification whatever it is okay now we need to do ta flight model this is the simple variable name converter dot convert so after that it will convert this model into simple our ta flight model format now we need to save this file so obviously we need to use the file function f is equal to open that file uh, but we are op not opening we are creating so that's why we have defined write in binary so it will create a name a file name which is mnist.tf light so now you can see extension is a dot tf light so with this code we can convert our model into tf dot uh, tf light format so now f dot write and f dot close so with this code you can save your mnist.tf light file if you are doing this code on the collab then you just need to use this code from google.collab import file then directly you can download files to download and then you just you need to place your uh, name of the file you can download your file but if you are doing in the local then no issues for at all because uh, actually i don't want to upgrade a TensorFlow because all the dependencies and there are lots of code which is running on the 1.14 if now if i upgrade to TensorFlow 2.0 then i will get a lots of error in my code so that's why i am not upgrading my tensorflow version so that's why i did this code on the collab so now code the uh, now it's time to go for the android so now the amazing thing is that now you don't need to create any android application for the every ui and everything is ready even code is also ready so how so let's see uh in previous video i have shown about a tensorflow official examples uh, you can see this is the uh, official repository from the tensorflow you need to just git clone in some your directory uh, in just in this folder you need to go in the light in light you need to go into the examples and you can see there are lots of uh, machine learning and deep learning task related application available here so now we need to go into the digit classifier now open this android directory in your android studio so now just you need to open that android directory of the digit classification in your android studio and just then you need to click on the uh, rebuild project uh, but first of all you need to synchronize it with gradle so first of all uh, synchronize project with the gradle file and then you just need to go to the build and you can rebuild your project after the rebuilding and gradle successful compilation uh, it will show your project here so now let's understand what thing actually it's content so it's a very simple application the ui is very simple so you can see first of all there is a one uh, uh, drawer here means uh, just simple it is like a tick enter there is a tick enter in tick enter there is a one canvas so it's simple there is a one uh, withdraw view here obviously android is a uh, so much when more they are so much advanced than the tickinter but concept is the same as like what we have did in the tickinter application in previous video so this is one text it will show you the prediction and error and like all and this is the button just for the when you click the button it will uh, give you the prediction so now uh, this code is uh, based on the kotlin so that's why name is the main activity dot kt so guys according to my uh, actually uh, in the my college syllabus i am doing android development with the kotlin so kotlin is uh, much easier than java so i always prefer uh, use kotlin in your uh, android application but java is also good but uh, for me kotlin is very good better than java so now this code is main activity code is already built it just you need to uh, set up your view instance but guys in the kotlin you don't need to do this thing here but actually this code is already made by someone who is doing job in the google and tensorflow but you can uh, many uh, you can update this code you can improve your code much more better and directly you can update this code into official repository also just you need to uh, do the pull request on the github after updating if your update is good then uh, they will accept your updation now 
there is a one clear button there uh, there is no uh, like if you click on the clear button uh, it will clear the canvas there is a method uh, draw view dot clear canvas and it will change the text is equal to please draw a digit okay so now uh, when you uh, start the draw means you put your finger on your drawing area then it should be draw so there is a you need to click on the set on click uh, set on touch listener instead of the click so draw view dot on set uh, touch listener uh, you need to just uh, use the if and if and else event uh, if and else condition if event dot action is equal to motion event means if you swipe on the screen uh, it will start the drawing so this is the simple now we need to initialize a digit classifier so what we are initializing so let's see digit classifier so digit classifier is what digit classifier is a one another kotlin file which actually contain your the official code of the tensor uh, means uh, your digit recognition so there is a function which is uh, initialize so what it will initialize so it will initialize a tensor flow light interpreter okay so now in your mind one question will arise so then what is uh, what we need to do about your model which you have same uh, store from the python code so just you need to place your uh, just let me go here so you need to go into app src main and there is a one folder which is called assets so in assets folder you need to place your mnist.tf flight file so our application will access this file uh, then tensorflow light interpret this model and it will classifying you digit so you can see uh, there is a load of model file then ss manager because in an android uh, thing is so much easier so you don't need to give a part like python ss from the ss manager uh, we can initialize our mnist.tf flight file here then what we are doing uh, we are just uh, doing a uh, simple task like uh, get input tensor uh, it is just uh, same as like a tensor flow code but in uh, python code is uh, so much easier than doing this but obviously if language change then you need to change the lots of things but we are ju ju just uh, getting the image shape using this code after that we need to initialize, initialize our uh, completely interpreter and after that uh, it will give you a prediction which is a function which is called classify if something wrong then it will show you error tf flight interpreter is not initialized yet but now we need to count the time also so that's why it's using system time so actually what uh, uh, doing here what actually thing is going here i will explain you when i run the code so it will clear your all the doubts so first let me initialize my visor application so just uh, pause the video for the two minute so now my phone is connected uh, with the system so currently i am using a wireless edb so i will explain you the uh, code uh, roadmap after the installation so first let me run the application so guys uh, about this application and this code this code is already built by official tensorflow but uh, you need, you can uh, do lots of changes here and you can improve the application and directly you can uh, submit your code in the tensorflow and its chance you will get the uh, you means uh, github will uh, sorry tensorflow will accept your pull request also so just wait for the application So TensorFlow lagging my system as well as because my laptop is around four year old. So let me push the video for the Gradle build running. So now it start uh, started installing application on the my device. So just accept the permission. Okay, so application is uh, launched here. 
so now uh, what the thing is doing here so this is the screen this is this black part is the draw view simple means in this area you can draw your digit so now what it will do if i draw something here on the screen okay uh, then it will uh, what it will do it will save the image means it will save this uh, draw bitmap and it will give it our model give give this file to as a bitmap format and give this file to the model and model it will return the prediction and finally uh, we are showing our result at here so actually i have some uh, doubts here actually it, this, this button is not for the uh, submit button kind it's just a kind of a clear button uh, you don't need to do submit when you uh, means when you unpush your click it will uh, give you a prediction actually there is a uh, lots of rain here so maybe you will get a uh, lots of background noise of the rain uh, so forgive me for that actually rain is started and the another thing is that tomorrow is my exam means from tomorrow my online exam is also starting but from the last few days i have not uploaded any video so that's why i am uh, currently making this video and around in one or two day i will upload this video on the youtube so just uh, now actually i am doing with the cursor so now let me try it my with phone okay so prediction predicted result is a 3 confidence is 0 0.99 so you don't need to click on the like submit button there is a no concept of the submit button when you release your finger it will give you the prediction so forgive me for that in the first half i will uh, i already told about like there is a button but there is a no button here okay so now this result is a too much bad because it doesn't look like uh, the result is three but it look pro it look like the seven okay so we can accept because it's look like a two but actually it's a one okay so result is a uh, not a, actually it's a perfect result but for the learning purpose we can do this thing in an android application also even uh, in python application scenario is the same as this just you need to save this bitmap file and uh, you need to fit this bitmap file to your model model will return your prediction and just you need to show your uh, prediction here so there are no similarities between android application and python application just language is changed here but uh, just another thing is that the android application you can run on your and any android device and for python application you need to have uh, python install in your system also and then you need to have some windows kind of uh, operating system okay now if i doing something like this then it also uh, predict the digit so i don't know who is telling uh, ai will take over the world in future i don't believe in this shit so it's okay and uh, this, this is just for the time joke so guys if you like the video uh, share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe the machine learning hub youtube channel because i am doing a uh, lots of uh, hard work and actually i am creating creating lots of projects in the like free and i can i am uploading my open source project on the github you can directly access using my github my id is pyd20 and you just you need to sub my, uh, subscribe the my youtube channel so guys uh, see you in the next one uh, if you have any suggestion for the new upcoming topic you can directly give it in your com uh, in this comment section if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section otherwise you can connect me on the my uh, instagram page which is a machine learning hub so guys see you in the next one until that do coding and implement this all the application and all the things if you, and you can use machine learning hub hashtag to get a notified on the instagram page so guys see you in the next one thanks for the listening